Hi, Sharon Danley here with another video in the series of wardrobe styling and management. This week it's about color. Color affects figure appearance, both by the specific colors worn and how they are used to create line, intensity, and create a warm or a cool feeling. Skin tone, eye color, and hair color also play an important part in creating a congruent color palette. And of course, color has an impact on feelings and radiates subliminal messages. It can add excitement, soften a mood, uh, project status or position, and helps us express our personal style in many areas of our lives. Now here are some generally accepted uh, rules, I guess, for lack of a better word, that you can follow that help to make uh, your wardrobe work better for you. Wearing a single color lengthens and slims because it creates a vertical line. Changes in color, on the other hand, create horizontal divisions which shorten and widen figure appearance. Wearing two shades of the same color, such as a light gray top and a medium gray bottom, produces less of a sharp break in the line than do distinctly different colors, such as a red top and a navy bottom. A solid dark suit or dress and monochromatic colors can make you look taller and thinner. As with makeup, decorating, painting, or any other place color is used, dark minimizes and light maximizes. Use this strategy knowingly and strategically. Now dark colors versus light colors. Like with makeup, dark colors appear to move things back, diminish or recede, and therefore appear smaller. They communicate authority, and approachability. Blue is less intimidating than black. Light colors, on the other hand, move forward, augment, or appear larger and brighter. They also communicate an approachable, non-threatening image. The eye is drawn to the lightest area of the silhouette. Therefore, a white shirt or blouse draws attention to the face. The primary color uh, that everyone uh, sees when they first look at you is your dominant color distinction. Are you deep, light, warm, or cool? The secondary component is undertone, that is the depth and clarity are more difficult for some to see. A consultant can usually help you find yours or just where it feels good. Most artists I've worked with good artists, we agree that most people can wear most colors. It's just on how you put it together. Now, warm palettes range from uh, uh, mid-golden tones to deeper rich ones. They're often muted. My examples would be green like moss, tobacco, olive. Yellow would be gold, bisque, ivory. Orange would be pimp, uh, pumpkin, apricot, rust, coral. Uh, red would be orange, red, brick, or tomato. Neutrals would be khaki, beige, camel, tan, brown, warm, taupe. Now the cool palette contains colors with blue undertones and ranges from mid to deep shades. Examples would be green, such as emerald, teal, or lime. Your yellow would be like lemon. Red would be more of a burgundy, wine, true red, rose, or pink. Violet would be purples and plums. Blue would be royal, true blue, and navy. And neutrals would be gray, silver, cool, and taupe. And of course, neutral is black and white, and they're always considered neutral. And gray can go either way depending on its undertone, whether it's warm with a brown undertone or cool with a more of a blue undertone. Depth is found in rich, strong colors. They can be light or muted while maintaining their strength. Brightness is found in primary color range, much like children's crayons. They are clear, true colors. 
Intensity is the strength or softness of a color or how light or dark its range is. So to wrap it up and make it real simple for color, are your colors warm or cool? Do they have a warm undertone or a cool undertone? Are they strong and vibrant or soft? And are they light or dark? How are you going to use those perspectives in designing what looks best for you and your figure type? Enjoy, have fun with it, look around the magazines and online and find pictures that suit you and maybe create a little album for yourself of things that you think work for you and you can adjust them accordingly. It's very simple to do in the wonderful digital world that we live in. Anyway, enjoy, have fun with it and we'll see you next time.